Well, you guys got another video on how to install Windows 11 with a local account rather than using a Microsoft account, which is forced upon you during the installation process. If you are at this screen where it says, is this the right country or region? Then what you need to do here, once you're at this screen, is to press Shift and F10 to open up a command prompt box. And from here, we can enter the OOBE, which is the Microsoft Outerbox Experience. And this will allow us to bypass the Microsoft account. Uh, so basically what you need to do is type OOBE backslash bypass NRO. And this is standing for out of box experience. I'll put some information on the screen so you can read it there. But once we push enter, it's going to restart the PC. So once it restarts, it's going to take us straight back to where we was before. And that's because we still have an internet connection connected to the computer. So what we'll need to do is disable that internet connection. Now you can either pull the ethernet cable out or you can push shift F10 again. And, and this will open up another command prompt box when we get back to this screen right here. So once we get here, what we want to do is disconnect our internet. And we can do that by typing ipconfig space forward slash release and then push enter. And what this is going to do is disable the internet. And this is probably the best way of doing it rather than pulling your ethernet cable out. So do this. And once we've done that, we can now see that the media has been disconnected. So close off your command prompt box and then click yes to continue. And then we can choose our keyboard layout, click yes. And we can skip the next one. And you can see right here, it says, let's connect you to the network. We don't want to do that. And we want to click on this now because this is now appeared where it says, I don't have internet. So you can click on this one right here. And this will take us to the next screen where we can put in our username. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And once we've done this, we can click on next. Put a password in if you need one. I'm going to click next. And again, you can now go through and click your answers that you want to do here. So this is using the Microsoft out of box experience method. And once you've done this, you will be signed into a local account. You have not set up Windows with a Microsoft account, it's going to go straight into a local account, as you can see here. Now, we do have a problem because we don't have any internet, as you can see here. There's no icon showing, and that's because the internet has been disconnected by myself in command prompt. So you're going to have to re-enable that, and it's very simple and easy to do. Let me first uh, expand this screen to 1920 by 1080 here so we can see better. And this will be done right here. There we go. And once we've got that done, we're going to need to open up a command prompt box on the computer so we can type in the ipconfig space forward slash renew. So let's go ahead and type CMD and run this as administrator. Click yes. And now once we're here, if you look at the bottom right here, you'll see the internet is still disconnected. Type ipconfig space forward slash renew. Push enter. And this will renew our IP. And you can see now it's give us a connection and we have now got internet connection back. And the good thing about this is it's so simple and we now have all our icons back and you haven't been forced to set up a Microsoft account during the installation setup. So if we go here now and look at the local account setting here, we're already on a local account, which is good. Now you'll notice there was no large Windows update and that's because we had our internet disabled so it skipped that free stage update that it does during the installation process now which does take quite a long time so when you do a windows update it's going to pull down all those files and i find it quicker doing it that way now if you want to use the rufus method you can do and this is basically going to be useful for people that have older hardware that want to be able to install it on unsupported hardware and things like that i'll quickly show you this method as well I'm not going to show you the full installation process, but I'll show you how to set this up in case you want to use this method, which will also skip a lot of the security uh, questions and things like that. So we have Rufus open here, and basically we need to plug in a USB flash drive. Uh, it needs to be over 8 gigabytes in size or 8 gigabytes and above. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. I've got a 32 gigabyte one here. 
So what we're going to need to do here now is download the Windows 11 ISO. You can get that from Microsoft's website or you can do it through Rufus as well. I'll show you both ways. So go to the Microsoft's website and uh, select your Windows 11 ISO that you want. Choose your language. And what we're going to do here is choose English International. Click Confirm and it will confirm that and then click the download button right here like so and it will download your ISO. With that ISO we can then create our bootable media using Rufus. Why don't we use Microsoft's media creation tool? The reason why we don't do that is because it will force you to use a Microsoft account. So from here, you can see there's a little arrow here on the Rufus. Click download. And once it's downloading, it's going to give us an option to download the Windows 11 from here. So you can choose to do it which way you want to do it. It's perfectly safe uh, to do it either way. Uh, but I would prefer to go to the Microsoft website myself because obviously it's coming from the official source. This is probably coming from the Microsoft servers. But again, uh, you can choose which method suits you. It's going to download 24H2 here. And we're going to click Continue. And you see here Windows 11 Home, Pro and Education. Click Continue. And it's going to give us another option saying English International. That's fine. And what this will do is will pop up a box where we can then download the ISO. And this is probably being downloaded from the Microsoft servers. So you can see here, we've got the option to download and download using a browser or using their tool. So I'll just go through the browser here and click download using browser, click download, and you can see it's coming down right here. Uh, I'm going to cancel this because I don't need two of them. I've already got one downloaded. So what you can do now, now you have the ISO, go back to Rufus tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this download to select again, because we need to select our ISO. So that's perfectly fine as is, leave it as is there. And we need to do next is select your ISO. So let's select it right here. So let's select our ISO, click open. And now we can have the image option, which is standard Windows installation. That's perfectly fine. You can choose the partition scheme. Newer computers are using GPT. Uh, and you can see here MBR for older legacy hardware, which is older computers. And you see BIOS or UEFI CSM, or you've got GPT, which is UEFI non-CSM. So choose which one suits your computer. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to select GPT in this case. And once we've done that, we can now move on to the label. Leave the label as is. Uh, file system is NTFS, that's perfectly fine. We can leave the cluster size as default. And there is a show advanced format options here. If you want to use the quick format option, make sure that's checkmarked. And we're going to leave that as is. And we can now click on start. And this is where you've got the Windows user experience right here. Now, if you've got old hardware and you want to install this on unsupported hardware, you would need to leave that top one checkmarked because that's going to remove the requirement for four gigabytes of RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0. If you want to remove uh, the requirement for online Microsoft account, leave that checkmarked. So depending on what your requirements are, you would checkmark these boxes. So create a local account with a username and you can put your username that you want inside that box and it will create the username for you. And also we can skip the regional options to the same values as the user if we wanted to and disable the data collection, skip privacy questions. That's all the privacy questions that you have to go through during the setup and it will skip all those and disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. You can leave these as is. Now, if you don't have an old computer and have a modern computer, you can uncheck mark that top one if you wanted to, but we're going to leave them all check marked, click OK and we're going to click OK here to wipe all the data on the drive. So it's just telling me I've got multiple uh, partitions and it's going to wipe all those. So I'm going to click OK here. That's perfectly fine. And it's now going to delete all these partitions and create our Windows 11 uh, bootable USB flash drive for us. It will take a bit of time. It's not going to be that quick. But once you're done, you can then boot to that USB flash drive and install Windows and it will bypass all of the requirements if you've got an older computer if you want to install windows 11 on unsupported hardware you can use this method right here that i showed you so basically the rufus method is for people with unsupported hardware and also for people that want to bypass the false microsoft account and use a local account and it also skips a lot of the security questions and makes installing windows 11 a lot easier whereas the other way 
is only going to be basically bypassing the Microsoft account. Anyway, I hope this is helpful for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and your names are rolling up on the screen right now. If you've got any questions, then leave them in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read your comments. Other than that, have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now. <music>